Okay. So they've been doing some stuff on out there, but nothing like yesterday with the big ball and there was like an announcer and they were doing like tracks. To, like there was like a little speaker thing and a guy with a microphone and they were having an event out there and they were like timing people running down the thing. Ah, uh, okay. But nobody was actually running. They were they were running, but you have run faster to the train than they were running down that little bit of track. Yeah, I didn't film any of it because they're most likely minors. Don't want to get behind that one, although I did ride past on the thing, on the bike, to get by there and see what was going on. And there is a, yeah, <laughs> it was a outdoor festivities and stuff, but I don't have many meetings today. So I'm going to be coding. Which is a, a, a form of therapy for him. Yeah. Him sitting down and listening to music and coding for hours on end is like kind of like me going to football practice after yeah. a fashion. <laughs> it's not one of those things that we want to do all the time because but whatnot. But actually, no, me going to football practice would be him going to a D&D &D game. <laughs> That's that. Yeah. <laughs> Me grinding up legendary materials on a video game or grinding up mats to craft something on any game, um, that would be reputation grinds for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't want to do it all the time, but some days I just need to and focus. <laughs> Like, I had way too much time to max out everything I possibly could, and Aaron is noticing on... Uh, Forbidden West. I've even, like I said, I've even knocked it up to hard. I could probably go to very hard and have a challenge, but like, hard is at the point that if I'm not perfectly on my game, um, like with the fucking Thunderjaw yesterday, if I'm not perfectly on my game, they'll stomp me. Yeah, but you can still stomp them pretty effectively. <laughs> yeah, and then I was like, oh, <laughs> Sit forward. <laughs> Relax a little too much fighting the thunder jaw. Went back the next time. <laughs> Alright, I got all these pieces. <laughs> it's like the first one you ever run across in this game. <laughs> because I have all the various little tools, so now I'm doing every fire gleam and every little thing I come across and starting to do things. Because, like, I've done a quest, a side quest, that's not supposed to be done until after you get Demeter. Which means you've already been to the ocean, to the greenhouse area, and gotten the thing to open up the seed pots. <laughs> and then you come all the way back to like Lake Mead, Lake Powell, and you break open some things and go inside and get the mobile shield platform thing. <laughs> so, I'm doing a lot of things. In the wrong order. Because of New Game Plus, but that's the general idea of New Game Plus. <laughs> <laughs> that was the whole thing with like Chrono Trigger. Uh, if you had certain items before going that you shouldn't have at that stage of the game, you could utilize those items and get a like the, that's the only way to get the developer ending <laughs> is to go into a new game plus after you've completely decked yourself out and basically solo the end boss. <laughs> But you can't do it normally because you have literally no magic. You have no health. You have no abilities. But if you go through the full game, New Game Plus, then you could take like the Rainbow Sword and all of the wonderful abilities and your health, huge health pool and work with Marl, <laughs> who is not great, <laughs> to get everything done with Lavos. And since you've defeated Lavos before you did anything... You get the developer ending, which is a bunch of the developers made sprites out of themselves and tell you how the game was made <laughs> because you've just negated the whole game because <laughs> you beat the end boss before you ever had a reason to defeat the end boss <laughs> before he had, because it's time travel. Oh, yeah. Gosh, and I twin playing in the yum though. I'm be singing way too much. In fact, I have a TikTok about this song playing last year and I made a joke about the car part and Max Verstappen.
Okie dokie, just got out of the bakery. Not getting a sandwich or coffee today. Things are a little busy. Must be the after lunch rush, whatever. It's a sunny day, places are busy. Also, I didn't get an orange juice while I was there. And I intended on doing that. It's 1.45. I'm gonna get a beer. So I noticed it yesterday, but I was doing a lot of hamsterane stuff. So I was like, I hated the tingling and the inklings around, but now I came in here to get half pint and it's like 440 instead of four. And I'm like, everything's costing a little extra. Did the fat go up or something? Just the price of everything has gone up, basically. Alright, coming around the backside of Oostport. Backpack's very heavy. Everything feels a little bit weighted down right now. I'm thinking tomorrow. Since it'll probably be a chest day, I can head into the gym on the bike, depending on weather. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why there was a thumbs down on the video from a while back. Talked about... <laughs> it took me moving to the Netherlands to find real humanity. I think, to me, that's the only controversial thing I said in that entire video. So unless someone read into something that wasn't necessarily there, and thought they heard something, then, you know. So, in order to exercise my legs from leg day yesterday and get some throughput on them, I'm heading over the Fietzbrug. But, my god, some folks are in real slow bike ride mode today. I mean, to be fair, I'm in sixth gear right now, but... Because, <laughs> I mean, if anything, going up and over the Fietzbridge, Fietzbrug, will uh, make me push a little bit harder. But then I just roll in under Steicher Island and stuff. But trying to get up the one that goes over the shipping canal, whew. But I keep seeing so many bike paths in the United States that look just like this. And there's just pedestrians all over it, taking a, like it's a very large sidewalk. And I'm like, that's kind of the problem, is not only is the USA very car-centric, when you do open things up for bikes, you have to absolutely explicitly say it's for bikes, or people are going to walk on it six abreast. And so, yeah. Can pedestrians walk on this? Absolutely. They need to be on the side. <laughs> I also find it funny when joggers are overtaking cyclists. I don't know if that's a discredit to the cyclist, to the feetzer, or that's a credit to the jogger, who should also honestly just probably be running. But yeah, 20 degrees, partially cloudy. <laughs> Yokesland is gonna is probably packed if it weren't like school hours. But yeah, walking side by side like that is what. It's really funny. Is usually to be coasting this easily in fifth gear. I have a tailwind. But 
right now it sounds like it feels like I have a headwind. Maybe when just biking that fast, I've turned a tailwind into a headwind. <laughs> Um, we're going to take a slight detour. That wasn't where, that wasn't there when I went by last time. Came off Skyfair Island and looked across and I was like, what the fuck is that? Like, it's not at the land sailing place. That's it by storm. The fuck is that? I mean, it looks like a circus tent. Again, I'm gonna go on back around this way because this is the easy way to get in there. Otherwise, I have to go past, I have to go halfway to the apartment. <laughs> but no, like the other day when I took the bike ride, I literally, like Sunday, was it? No. Friday? No. I rode down that whole area. This is, hmm. Huh. I do love the whale tail though. Oh good, I can get in there, the gate is open. Yeah. Yeah, see, this is, wind and wheels unless something already happened what the heck yeah for those of you that watch every day this is the other side of that gate huh. oh it was a circus there was or will be a circus here. I'm gonna check Cop Ost's website. See what the fuck is going on. That's interesting. If anything, they might still have something on their website if it passed. But it looks like they're setting something up. Like they're putting in blockout gates. Blockout, blackout fences. I think this got set up today. Yeah, I see tons of this stuff. It's a gig festival. <laughs> Dress code inspiration, post-apocalyptic warrior, Mad Max, body art, steampunk, desert nomad, baroque, goth, leather, uniform, army dress, plastic, latex, metal, cross dress, cyberpunk, Victorian, pinup, Fetish burlesque, fetish glamour. Please notice that Cabos is quite sandy, so high heels are not recommended. There are plenty of parking spaces and lockers that are available. <sighs> There's going to be food trucks, art cars, first aid, a maze, a circus tent, um, the actual restaurant, Cop Amsterdam, uh, outdoor stages, post apocalyptic clothing, and much, much more. One, two, three, four, so one, two. So we're gonna assume that each, mm, I'm gonna link below. Not gonna.